Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel then welcome and don't forget to click your subscribe button and turn on your bells. Now today we're going to recreate uh, this part down the middle uh, body wave crimped hair look and today's hair is provided by Jessie's Selection. Now this is a 20, 22, 24 and an 18 uh, lace closure body wave and the name of this color is called 1B slash 350 which is like a nice uh, bright and burnt orange color. And of course, it's ombre that will make it the 1B at the top. Now, this is three bundles and a closure, as I mentioned before. And today, we're going to do a nice, cute little crimped birthday sleigh. And I'm going to show you guys how I do my quick weaves. Now, for starters, um, I went ahead and applied two stocking caps. I did the first stocking cap about halfway onto the head. And I did the second one all the way over um, across the edges because you know it's going to be a lace closure install and we do need that ball cap method for that centerpiece for uh, the closure but right now what I'm going to do I took um, my pump it up spritz and I just sprayed it all around the cap and I'm taking my 30 seconds pro um, you know bonding glue and I'm just going to cut and measure from ear to ear and then apply that uh, glue and of course place it right where it needs to be and just add a little heat from the blow dryer to make sure that it dries quickly now you don't have to use this uh, the 30 second pro glue you can use the regular bonding glue but the only difference is with a 30 second pro glue it does dry faster so that's why i typically use that one over the regular bonding glue and yeah so pretty much um that's why I use that glue and I'm just going to show you quickly how I just cut and paste the tracks and for those who are wondering I always double um, like I double with my sew-ins and bond-ins um, which means that I do two tracks at once so you will see me apply glue to the first track and then the second track and I just kind of place them one track directly underneath the other and then I place it down so um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned When doing quick weaves, um, if you're doing like a center part look, the goal is to get all of the tracks to go in a like half circle um, motion. Um, you just want to go from one side to the other side. And you want to make sure you do not place your tracks too far apart because you will see the gaps in between. And it depends on how many bundles you are using. The more bundles you want to fit in, of, co of course, you know, the closer you want to place the tracks. But, um... You know, it, it just, you know, their client's preference, how full they want their hair. But for the most part, the most I've ever gotten someone's head was like four bundles. But because there is a closure on top, I mean, we will use like the full three bundles and just maybe one little piece did not get put in. But um, we used all three bundles and then, of course, that closure. So this is what the body wave hair looks like after, you know, in its natural state after gluing it in. And now I'm going to go ahead and begin to place the closure now i kind of do like a rough guideline of where the closure is going to lay that way i can um you know bond in most of the tracks and then i will place the closure of course get it glued down and tacked down and then glue the remaining tracks around the closure to give it like a nice and smooth uh transition from closure to bundles 
so i'm just going to go ahead and cut all that extra cap off in the front and um i recommend you doing it like this that way when you are gluing the tracks on the side you know it's you know protected um the natural edges are protected from the stocking cap and if you choose to you can add extra security by applying the black tissue paper underneath the stocking caps um it's your preference depending on if you are glue heavy or not but um my bond ends come out easy so i never really had an issue where anyone complained about their bonding being too stuck or anything or any hair loss so that's why i just do like the two stocking caps but as i mentioned if you want to be extra secure you can use the uh, tissue paper um underneath your quick weaves but right now what i'm doing is taking that closure and i apply that kiss foundation in the color cognac and I applied that on the stocking cap and I'm applying it also in the inside of the lace closure and on top of the lace closure as well. And then I'm going to take, um, I took a little holding spray and actually sprayed it on the closure. That way um, it does not, like the makeup does not rub off on the skin. So um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and take my lace adhesive and I'm going to begin to apply my layers. And I'm just going to spread it out nice and evenly. And once you get all of your layers on there, um, you can just place the lace closure right into that glue. And this is a 4x4 four four closure, but with techniques, you can make it look bigger than what it is. And it will also give you that frontal look. Because it's a regular 4x4, four four, but I made it look like it's a 5x5. Five five. Or as you can say, I gave it that frontal look. So, um just stay you know stay tuned to what i'm doing and you know try this method out and let me know if it works for you because when you are uh, cut those extra thick straps off the side of that closure that's what help you get that seamless lace closure install so um try this method out and like i mentioned let me know And after that glue turns clear, you want to go ahead and place that lace closure right into that glue. And I'm just kind of stretching it out so I can really uh, stretch it to this full, um, you know, ability. That way it can seem like a bigger closure. And the hairline is looking very natural because I did, you know, go ahead and pluck. And now I'm going to go ahead and sew down the closure. No matter if I'm doing a quick weave or, you know, whatever, I always sew down the closure or the frontal um, some people glue the closures around the back or glue it around the frontal. To me, I don't really trust that because I would prefer my closure or my lace piece to be very secure because, you know, bonding glue can slip. So what happens if the bonding glue comes up in the back of the frontal? Your frontal is just going to be hanging forward. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I just recommend whether you're doing a quick weave or a sew in, just sew that uh, frontal piece or that closure piece down all around to give you a longer lasting install and to make it more secure.
now I'm just going to comb that uh, lace closure and you know down into that glue using heat and a comb. Now I just want to say this in advance. I'm sorry guys. I did not realize my camera was a little bit blurry. Um, I really would have preferred for y'all to see this sleigh up close and really clear. So I do apologize for the camera being slightly blurry. I did not notice it um, until of course I'm doing the editing. But um, you can still see that it's natural looking and it's scalped and it's plucked so nicely in the front. And I just took that hot comb and combed that lace down. And now we're going to secure it and tie it down with the melt belt. And um, once we do that, um, I'm just going to, you know, finish gluing in the rest of the tracks. And then we will come back on, remove that melt belt, cut the lace, and, you know, get to the actual styling. So as you can see now, I went ahead and removed that melt belt and I'm just parting everything off, making sure it's nice and you know, all the tracks are covered. And of course, I'm going to go in with my hot comb and hot comb everything out until it is super, super flat. And I just seen a little piece of cap right there that I did not want to see. So I just went ahead and removed it. But I'm just going to continue to hot comb this closure down until it is super, super flat. And of course, we begin to cut off that extra lace. But y'all can tell that this was a very natural looking lace closure install. And of course, I did slightly over bleach the knots by mistake. You know, I forgot the closure was on, but you know, on the bleaching powder. But you know, we will go ahead and correct that issue before the install is complete. So it's still going to be a sleigh regardless um and i do have videos on my channel 
Um, I know I have over 430 videos, guys, but it's in there um, on how to permanently, um, you know, correct over bleached knots. But because it might be so far down, I will do an updated video on that, how to temporarily correct your over bleached knot, um, which is what I would do in this video, or how to permanently fix your over bleached knot. So I would do a little tutorial on how to do both. So now that that extra lace is off, as you can see, we use our lace glider and remove the extra lace. We apply more of that cognac foundation on the front of the lace, and I also just apply some inside the part. But now I'm going to take that Tresemme holding spray, and I'm going to spray it um, right across the hairline and everything, and I'm going to tie that down again with that melt belt. And in the meantime, while that melt belt is sitting, um, I'm going to start to crimp the hair. Now, I did not go into full details with the crimping because I actually have a crimping tutorial on my um, my channel and I also have videos of me showing you guys how I crimp. So I'm just going to quickly show you like the first three pieces of me crimping the back and then I will show you the, the last part in the front that I'm going to crimp and show you how I pretty much get everything blended. So uh, for the crimping iron that I use, and because I know someone's gonna ask, I use the bed head crimping iron and it is a four level crimping iron so it goes from like small medium large and like extra large crimps you just kind of twist the knob to see how big or how small you want your crimps to be so this is the bed head of uh, four level crimping iron and like i mentioned this hair is body wave hair and in my opinion i prefer to crimp body wave hair over straight because um, one body hair, um, body wave hair holds curls better, and I like the way the crimps come out on body wave hair better versus on stray hair. Don't get me wrong, they both come out pretty, but if we're talking longevity, the crimps on the body wave hair will last longer than on the stray hair. So what I do is just, you know, and I'm not using any holding spray. I will only use holding spray for the top layer to make sure it gives off that nice crisp look. But all I did was apply uh, my Fantasia's heat protecting spray um, onto the hair and I'm just crimping the hair and I'm just, you know, holding it for a few seconds in one spot and then I just carry on. So I'm gonna show you the first three crimps and I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the hair crimped up except for one side in the front. And then I will show you how I crimp the rest in the front um, once I get there.
Now, when it comes to me crimping hair, I like for my crimps to blend. Some people like to leave them hard, crunchy, and separated. Me, I don't really care for the crunchy crimps. That's why I said I only applied holding spray for their top layer, and I just did everything else with the heat protectant. And I like for the crimps to be smooth into place, so that's why you will see me um, comb it downwards so it can all be leveled, because I hate when it's just like, the crimps is separated. You see every single crimp that's been ironed. Like, i rather just have everything just blended and smoothed into place. So, this is how I do my crimps. You know, just my preference, as I mentioned. And um, now that we have that all crimped up, I'm just taking my mousse. And I'm going to take some holding spray on top of that. Um, I sprayed it right on top. And now we're just going to quickly, uh, you know, swoop those baby hairs. And we're going to do three. One across the center and two across the sides. And then the last thing was um, for me to do is to just, you know, conceal the part up and fix that over bleach um, issue with some um, temporary black spray. Or you can use a, um, it's called like a gray cover up. It's like a little, it looks like a lipstick, but it's like jet black or black or natural brown. They have different shades and you can just like kind of mascara color um, that over bleachiness off. But today I'm going to use the high beams a black temporary black spray.
So as you guys can see, I took that cognac and I took that temporary black spray um, and I laid the tail comb in that part. And now I'm going to, um, you know, just blow dry. And I black sprayed it again because I didn't feel like the part was, you know, sleek enough for me. So I'm going to go back in one more time and take that temporary black holding spray and just spray a little bit darker. And now I'm more satisfied with the parting area. And I'm just spraying a little holding spray on top so it does not smear and run all over the place. But this pretty much sums up this, um, you know, body wave hair crimp video. Let me know what you guys think down below. It was Big Sis' birthday, the big 20. How oh, long she turned? 28, matter of fact. Yeah, because I might have been 27. Yeah, 28. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys for staying tuned. And make sure you are ready to see the next video. Subscribe. Bye.